Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna do a big old collective haul. Um, I do have something coming in tomorrow, but that's like minimal. I mean, inconsequential kind of a thing. And then I have a pen that is supposed to be delivered sometime today within the next mm, couple of hours. I'm excited for that one. So um, I'll record this and then I'll add that one on when it when it gets here. Um, let's see. The thing that's coming tomorrow is actually a new dip pen, glass dip pen, because I am working on this project and I'm switching on my inks and I'm using this thing and somehow I managed to chip the tip. So it does not write <laughs> the way that it should. Although I, I really do love this one. It's a cheap one from Amazon. So um, I order another one from Amazon, from Amazon and it's coming tomorrow. So that is like the other thing. Uh, let's see. I order new ink. I got some new pens. Let's start with my pens. Um, I did manage to find another Schaefer. Um, sorry, I have like a boo-boo on my finger. Let me go put a band-aid on this because it looks ugly. Hang tight. <laughs> so um, as I was saying, I managed to uh, get my hands on another. Whoa. On yet another Schaefer Prelude um, Fine Nib. This is new old stock. I don't know when this was made. It could have been in the 1990s, maybe. But it's the stock that was, um, uh, what's it called? The last made in the US before the factory closed. So, got it on eBay. They mislabeled it. I wanted um, metallic blue or electric blue. This is, um, Brilliant blue, I believe, or shimmer blue. Brilliant blue. Uh, so it's not quite what I wanted, the color, but it is still very pretty. And I didn't have to send it to Gina to have it smoothed in tune like I did with Petrol Blue. This actually wrote beautifully right out of the box. It's ink right now. I have no idea what I ink inked it with. I don't remember. Um, I order a Moonman M200. This was a mistake, um, a mistake because I knew better. I, I I don't mesh well with Moon Man. I don't like it, I don't like the way it writes. I like the look of it, but I don't like the way it writes. And I have it inked with Earl Grey and it is essentially Diamond Earl Grey. I actually ordered them together. Um, it essentially writes like a pencil, like a lead pencil. It just writes weird. I, I don't know if it's the combo, I don't know if it's the pen, I just, I don't like it, so, no. Um, this is either gonna end up in the trash or uh, I'm gonna give it to my daughter, I don't know yet. And then of course I order my Lavender Caveco because purple, um, black clip, because yes. And mine is the kind that says sport as opposed to collection. I got it with a medium nib. It's inked with actually one of these. Um, as I said previously, I got Diamine Earl Grey because um, one of my my one and only gray ink is probably mm, about that much done. And I don't know, I want to find another one. Birmingham Pen Company inks because I love Birmingham Pen Company. Um, look at this, you guys. Oh, how beautiful is that? This is Dragonfly Twinkle. Um, it's lovely. The bottle is huge, like big and glass. And look at that shimmer just sitting there. It's beautiful. Um, I discovered that actually their shimmers are very similar to Van Diemen's shimmers in that um, the shimmer particles are like a dust. I also got Ultramarine, and this is the one that my Caveco is inked with. These are the Rich Formula, so that's kind of dirty. Um, these are the Rich Formulas. Oh, this is her, um, Hers Island Ultramarine. My bad, it has like a full name. I just go with Ultramarine. Can't really tell much on the bottle, well, in the bottle. 
However, when I swatched it here, you could see that it's kind of got that blue with the red tint to it. This for me performs like a super mellow organic studio nitrogen. Super mellow, just way down there. You can, all you have to do is tilt it a little bit and it's there, but it's not up in your face like organic studio, like that, exactly like that. So I am actually really enjoying that right now. Especially on this medium nib, oh my God, it's glorious. This is, it's because you made a mess out of the boxes, but whatever. Jade Inferno, okay. Coatman Electric Store Company Jade Inferno. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Again, you can't really see much in the bottle. A little bit right there. It's a good gray, it's a good green. Um, I don't see anything. I don't know if this is a, a rich formula because to be honest, I don't see anything in it like I do with Ultramarine that has that dual tone thing going for it. I did swatch it, so I'm gonna show you guys to swatch it soon. And this is um, Alternating Current Tesla Coil. This one, much like Ultramarine, does have a duochrome thing going there too. Um, this is blue and, excuse me, she's napping. Um, <laughs> this is blue with a little bit of pink in it and it actually comes through really nicely on paper. Um, let me pull up my swatches, which I did in a um, little, it says maybe used to test pen and paper. Um, 68 GSM toner paper. I don't know if this is a new one or the old stock, to be honest. Hmm. I know I have some of Birmingham Penn's um, Tomo River notebooks somewhere. I have two of them that they used to send out with their orders, I don't know, the year before last, I think, or last. It was not last year, it was the year before last. I love them. I wish they brought them back. So here you have Dragonfly Twinkle. See, Ultramarine, you can't really see much there. Tesla Coil, you can see the pink coming through. Nothing happening with Jane Inferno, but maybe once it's in a pen, it'll do something similar to that. Um, and that is Ultramarine in pen. I, again, you can't really see it there, I swear. I wrote it, I. I saw it here when I swatched it. I was like, okay, give me a sec. And then um, I wrote this page in my little pen thing that I do. I don't even know what to call this. And I don't really see it there that much. Mm, not really, there's a little bit of it. However, um, when I wrote in my journal, which incidentally is the same company and paper and everything, you can really see it coming through. So I was surprised by that. Um, so I'm gonna insert a picture that I took with my phone on Hobonichi paper and you can kind of sort of see some of it coming through there too. Hopefully a little bit clearer than on paper or that I've done in this video, but this ink is beautiful. Ultramarine is it's quite, quite beautiful. Like I'm really happy I got that. Um, let me see what else. And then, yeah, I'll do the pen. It's a pen. I couldn't help myself, so as soon as it gets here, I will film the rest of this video. Okay, so somewhere in between the last video and this one, I managed to break two nails and I lost my band-aid. So, <laughs> but I wanted to film this one because it's the final game. This is <laughs> yet another because I can't help myself. Walltown Craftworks Bespoke Pen. This one I would say is a little bit more special simply because it's my very first diamond cast. <gasps> Which, if you know, you know that that means it's got little diamond dust in the resin. Of course I am like stoked beyond belief. The second he put it up, I was like, haha, that's mine. And I bought it. My stickers, ooh, that's pretty. My business card. 
He says, thank you again for your continued support in on your first diamond cast. <gasps> and I don't know what ink he used, but it's shimmery. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready? I'm going to zoom you in. You ready? Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Together. Okay. <gasps> Good Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. This is adorable. It says Diamond Cast is created. <laughs> oh my god, I guess I'm looking at oh my god. <laughs> it's created with real gem quality diamonds that are ethically sourced and reclaimed chips directly from diamond cutters. All diamonds and diamond cast are guaranteed conflict free. <laughs> oh my god. Let me give you the name. Um satellite. And this is in the Eno style. Eno, 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 Eno. If I could describe what this looks like in person, like if I could just properly, properly convey it. Oh, oh my God, hold on. Focus. Good Lord, I needed to focus on the pen and not my hands. And I'm trying to show the pen and not my hands, but it won't focus without my hand. Oh, good Lord, this cap. This cap. Oh, my. Wow, oh, my camera is losing its mind. It doesn't know which way to go. Oh, my. I am literally speechless. I order it with a fine nib. It's a number six. Oh my. I seriously have no words for this pen. None. I didn't know I needed this in my life until now. <laughs> you guys. <gasps> I am dead. Oh, this, this swirl pattern right here. Oh my, oh my. This is love at first sight. This is, this is what love at first sight feels like. I mean, I can't stop looking at it. I can't. It's, it's, oh my. Anyways, <laughs> I guess that's it for my whole way to hang it with a bang. <laughs> You guys can get your hands on a diamond cast from Walltown. Do it. I mean, do yourself a favor. Get yourself a diamond cast. You would not regret it. As I'm looking at this, I don't regret it for a single second. It's perfect. I'll see you guys later. Bye.